Conclusion. A quick recap of all that we discussed with respect to redemption of preference shares. We first defined preference shares. What are preference shares? So preference shares have two preferential rights. One is with respect to receipt of dividend. They get dividend before equity shareholders. Dividend preference shares are also shares. Preference shareholders are owners, shareholders of the company and owners of the company. Therefore, they get dividend only if there are profits. And when there are profits, it's preference shareholders who first get the dividend and thereafter the equity shareholders. The other uh, preferential right was with respect to repayment of capital. So if a company is being wound up, after all outside liabilities are settled, when it comes to paying back the shareholders, preference shareholders are first paid up and after their dues are settled, only then equity shareholders get repayment of their capital. These are the, these are the preferential rights which preference shares carry. Preference shareholders, however, have no voting rights. They normally carry a fixed rate of dividend and preference shares are also redeemable within a period of 20 years. Next we discussed what is redemption. Redemption is nothing but repayment, repayment of the capital. Such repayment may be at par or may be at a premium also. So we may repay the preference shareholders more than the face value of the capital. Such premium on redemption is a capital loss and it is set off against the securities premium account if there is any or profit and loss account. The entire procedure of redemption is as per the provisions of the Companies Act. Either the Companies Act 1956 for Section 80 or the new Companies Act Section 55 of the Companies Act 2013. What are the provisions of the Companies Act with respect to redemption of preference shares? Preference shares are redeemed either out of the proceeds of a fresh issue, proceeds of a fresh issue of capital, not of debentures, fresh issue of capital, or out of free reserves which need to be transferred to what is called the Capital Redemption Reserve Account. The free reserves are free for available free or available for distribution as a dividend. This includes the credit balance in the profit and loss account, a general reserve account or a dividend equalization reserve account. So in order to maintain the capital structure, if preference shares are redeemed, it must be replaced by proceeds of fresh issue of capital or out of free reserves which are transferred to capital redemption reserve, which can be used, the capital redemption reserve can be used only for the issue of bonus shares. Also, when we consider proceeds of fresh issue, it is always taken as issue price or face value, whichever is lower. Since securities premium cannot be used for redemption of preference shares, and we are very conservative, when we issue shares at a discount, we ensure that enough funds have come in to redeem the preference shares. So the provisions of the Companies Act also says that only fully paid up preference shares can be redeemed. Preference shares are redeemed out of proceeds of fresh issue or out of free reserves which are capitalized. The premium on redemption can be set off against securities premium or against profit and loss account. Capital redemption reserve account can be used only for the issue of bonus shares. Thereafter, we discuss the accounting entries in each of these situations. If it is out of fresh issue, we pass entries for fresh issue of capital and then pass entries for redemption. What are the entries for redemption? Very simple. Debit the preference share capital account, which is being redeemed with the face value so that is being cancelled. If there is any premium on redemption, debit premium on redemption of preference shares. Premium is debited because it's a loss. To 
preference shareholders with the total amount payable to them. Preference shareholders account debit to bank with the payment made. And if there is the premium on redemption, please set it off against securities premium if there is securities premium balance, otherwise profit and loss account. So securities premium account debit or profit and loss account debit to premium on redemption of preference shares. In case it is out of free reserves, we don't need to pass entries for fresh issue of capital. There is no fresh issue of capital and we pass entries for capitalization of reserves, which is either general reserve account debit or profit and loss account debit or dividend equalization reserve debit or a combination of all this to capital redemption reserve account. Thus, capital redemption reserve account is created. And of course, the entries for redemption are, are passed as discussed before. Very often, you can have redemption as a combination, partly out of fresh issue and partly out of free reserves. The journal entries would therefore be a combination. It may be noted that while these provisions of the Companies Act are with respect to retaining the capital structure of the company, on the other hand, the company must ensure that there are sufficient funds to pay off the preference share capital. When there is a fresh issue of capital, funds also come in. But if we redeem preference shares out of free reserves, there is no cash coming in and the company may have to look at other sources for raising cash. They may issue debentures, they may issue shares, they may sell investments or other assets. That is a different aspect. Maintaining the capital structure is another aspect. It's a small, simple topic. And with these entries, with this discussion, you would have understood the entire provisions, all the accounting entries which are required in order to redeem preferences. Thank you.